what's up it's maddie at mix and master my song.com today i'm going to go over a video uh which was actually from an article i read on sound and sound uh seth firkins who's futures producer actually went through his vocal chain he uses with future so i always get a lot of emails from guys asking about can you make my vocal sound like future so i thought what better to make a video showing you exactly how uh, he does it so this is the vocal chain future used in draco and I'm doing it in Studio One, as you can see. Uh, Seth uses Pro Tools, so there's a few different plugins, but you can always check out the article and get the exact plugins he used. Um, it's a really cool article too, and just shows how simple uh, some of the stuff people are doing is. So first of all, as you know, um, Future's vocals are usually auto-tuned. Uh, they record with the auto-tune, so that's already done. Same with this song that I'm mixing now. It already had tune. Um, so I thought it'd be a cool kind of video just to show you the plug-in chain. Um, so we'll start off with what they use is the repeater, or it's a it's the digi delay. Um, I'm using the repeater here, and it's basically just an eighth note slap delay kind of thing. I have it right on the channel, uh, just with the mix about five. And you hear it bouncing a little bit. Um, after that, they he uses the uh, make DSP AC uh, analog channel trip analog channel strip which actually does do a little bit of compression so it might do a little bit of a different thing than this does but still this will give you the tape compression sound um, so we just add that for a little flavor the next plugin was an EQ plugin and what you're doing is low cut on the lows right about up to 129 and then a little dip around 500 where a lot of times you can get a lot of the mud and stuff. Um, and then a cut around 3000 uh, hertz, which maybe that's a future thing. I don't know. Um, it does take out some of the harshness. Sometimes I like to cut around 7K. And then a shelf up here around, I did it at 7. I think on the example, he had it around 5. So that just kind of boosts up the highs and makes the vocal sound nice and shiny. And with it on, gives it that sizzle. Um, next is this deesser because you boosted so much of that high end, you're going to probably get some more S's. Uh, so that's just just taking off three to six dB of the S's. Um, on the plugin, it's it's the frequency is just default if you have this this wave plugin. Um, next is the trusty old R compressor and just taking another uh, 3 to 6 dB just to kind of control the dynamics. Um, it's a rather fast attack and release, but it definitely helps just pull everything a little more in your face. So that helps that a lot. Um, after that was a reverb, which I think they use D-verb, believe it or not. And um, it was just like a room reverb with... Uh, 19 millisecond pre-delay. I'm using the Pro R um, and in a pretty short uh, decay time here. Oops, let me turn it on, right? So it just kind of gives it that space. Um, next is a flanger. I'm using my UAD one. The flanger's not really doing much, just giving a little bit of, little bit of space, a little bit of width. And then finally is an L1, which uh, Seth says he uses just to kind of boost a little more high frequencies, and it's another kind of, you know, it's a limiter, so it's going to tame the dynamics a bit more. Um, and I'm not even really hitting it. I suppose you could bring it down more if you want to hit it. So that's pretty much the chain. And then, you know, you can go on and, and, and change these uh, and create your own kind of thing, which is cool. I mean, I still got on this song. I ended up adding all these effects and I, I took them off, but I have more EQ stuff going on and it ended up sounding really cool. So 
Please. So it's cool to always maybe take an idea from something and then make it your own. Um, so yeah, I hope that helps. If you're looking for that future sound, boom, there it is. That is the guaranteed future sound. So make sure to check out the article on SOS. And if you need any songs, Mix or Master, hit me up at mixingmastermysong.com. Thanks.